Welcome to this Meco Graphics training video. Today I'm going to show you how to use data rows and data columns to make more powerful charts. Data rows and columns are really useful for enhancing a chart. They can be used for both text and data, and they offer big advantages over using manual text boxes to add information to your chart. Specifically, they are faster to use than text boxes and easier to update if your data changes. Let me show you some examples of how to use data rows and columns. You can use a data row to clarify what's already on your chart. On this Barmeco chart, we're using a data row to help the audience understand the variable that is driving bar width. This is very common when you're using a Barmeco or Marameco. Let me show you how I created the data row. If I double click on this chart, Click on chart data to open the chart data sheet. You can see I have two rows in my data sheet. The first is the variable that will be plotted on the y-axis. The second, percent of total units, I'll use in two ways in this bar meco. One is to drive the bar width, and the other is as a data row. If I right click on that row, you can see that I selected series as data row and series as bar width. If I deselect series as data row, the data row disappears. You can see that you can use this same approach to showing the variable that is driving bar width in a Marameco chart. In this cascade chart, we're using the data row in a slightly different way. We could show the percent of the total sales target as a segment value for each bar, but in this case we're pulling it out as a data row to make it easy for the audience to see the key message of the slide which is that we've only closed 13% of the sales target for this year. Now let me show you how you can use a data row or data column to add information to your chart that contributes to your key insight. In this Marameco chart, we're using a data row for text, and the text is actually showing whether the region of origin is for each one of these restaurant companies. And you can see from the tagline of the slide that that text actually helps drive the key insight on the chart. So in this case, you can see that Panera originated in the Midwest, and the Midwest still represents the majority of the store locations for Panera. In this Marameco chart, we're using the data row in a slightly different way. This chart shows the Super Bowl advertising mix by category and advertiser. We've added the data row here to show which categories are growing versus the previous year. So you could tell by this chart that food and beverage was the largest category, but you can also see, because of the data row, that it's growing the fastest. Here's an example of how to use data rows in a build-up cascade chart. In the previous cascade that I showed you, the data row was actually the percent of total which in this chart we're showing inside each bar. But in this case, we're using data rows to add additional information to the chart that helps contribute to our message. In this case, we're showing how many teams are in each conference that participated in the NCAA basketball tournament and which teams are the top rated. So we're using both data and text in these data rows. This is one of our favorite charts for showing a financial comparison across regions, countries, or competitors. You can see in this chart that the stack bar allows you to, to compare revenue, the cost categories, and the net income figures, but the data rows below the chart provide additional information so that you can compare these companies on variables such as gross margin and operating margin. In this chart, we're showing how to use multiple data columns. The first column is the text that is shown to the right of the chart, which would be typically shown in a legend or a series label, but in this case, we're showing it as a data column. And the second data column is revenue per user. Let me show you how you can assign these using bars and series in the Meco Graphics ribbon. So if I select bars and series, Here's all my data in the chart. 
you can see that I've, I've assigned column three, which does not have a um, header as a data column, and revenue per user, which does have a title as a data column. If I turn that off, we'll see that I'm left with just revenue per user. Or I can go back in, turn it back on. In this last chart, I'm going to show you how to use multiple data rows and a data column in a bar meco. You can see that we've added two data rows in this bar meco, one for market share and one for average selling price to help drive home the message of the chart. But we've also added a data column. And in this case, we're showing total market growth in a data column so that you can understand the relative impact of each company's growth on the overall total. Thank you for watching this Mecho Graphics training video. To see more videos, please visit our website.